Hello, welcome to Octagon Garage. My name is Robert. Today I was working on the differential some more and was able to get, got a punch for the roll pin and was able to get the roll pin out. And the roll pin was actually broken in two pieces, which I found interesting. But anyway, that's not a big deal. That could be, that could be replaced. The pin that holds the star gears in is just absolutely tore up. Completely just galled badly. I think this differential's gotten hot at one time or multiple times. And it is just roasted it. The other star gears on the other side, there's these fiber washers that are supposed to go on here on this side. They were completely gone. And the inside of these star gears are completely galled. On this side, on the right side of the carrier, the left side isn't as bad, but I think that, well, lack of maintenance, the shims being bad. Here's the new bronze shim and, you know, abuse. Um, it tore them up. The other one, the other star gear here, going back to that same one, you know, the shim, it's there, but it's galled real bad on the inside. And the other one is really bad. Seems like this star gear and this star gear, um, that's the one that goes onto the, onto the axle. That'd be the left, right side axle, excuse me, um, seemed to be the worst. This is, uh, this bronze shim is galled real bad too and it also corresponds with some bad galding on the inside of the carrier it there's a lip on the inside of there and uh, it's galled up real bad I would probably say in my first video when we took the rear cover off and drained the fluid all that sludge that is in there that's <laughs> still dripping and oozing out of the differential housing um, is one of the culprits. Um, either this differential started making some noise at one time and someone put sawdust in it or who knows to quiet it up. Uh, and in the meantime, it has just destroyed a lot of parts. Plus side is, hey, our bearings feel pretty good on both sides and the ring and pinion gear look really good. So I believe that those will be okay. Um, but it looks like we've gone from a, hey, all you need to do is put new shims in. And on my, on my MG, excuse me, on my MGB, that's what I did. Um, it came apart real easy. You drift out the pin, the, the roll pin. You tap it out a little bit. You put your roll pin punch through there and the pin slides right out. And then you can roll out your star gears. It's not that big of a deal uh, until today. So I gotta do some research. I have some spare differentials. I believe the carriers for the MGC and the MGB are the same. So I may just pull out a um, carrier out of another differential. Now the ring gears are different. The ratios are different, ring and pinion. So I'll have to switch those over. But if they're good, I shouldn't have any problems. So, um, but yeah, our star gears are got big problems. Um, you know, they're unfortunately, you know, they're tore up on the on the mating surfaces. The teeth look pretty good. So, but you know, if we put together things like that back together, you know what it's going to do. It's just going to tear it up, and it's going to get worse. Um, but so. Yeah, we're going to have to do some work with that. It's, you know, it's always that way. Let me get this thing out in the sunlight. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's actual, there's a big groove cut right there. And it's just galled on both sides. Normally, this pin will freely spin 
and it's got these grooves cut uh, to, to capture oil to keep the star gears lubricated. Normally, you put your roll pin through there and it'll spin in there and it just pulls right out. But yeah, don't mind the shop, it's a mess. Uh, so anyway, I think what we're gonna call this, this is gonna be um, Operation Money Pit, I think is the official name. I, I do believe, you know, I watch Uncle Tony's garage and he says, you know, cars have got a nickname, they've, they've got to earn their nickname. Well, I think we're getting there. So I mean, Operation Money Pit is the 69 MGC. So anyway, until next time, you guys have a good day and be careful out there and I'll talk to you later. Bye.